Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can show hide and toggle component in React Native and guys this is the basic thing that we should know in React Native, React, Angular in any technology right because uh, I am very sure that you must have seen this functionality in many applications, web applications and mobile applications where we can show and hide any specific UI part or any component right. So how we can do that in React Native now we will learn that and one more question you can ask like uh, uh, we are just learning with uh, learning about life cycle methods with use effect. So these parts are completed or uh, uh, still pending. One part is still pending about unmounting life cycle methods and that we will learn in the next video. Reason being because if we want to learn unmounting life cycle method then first we have to know like what is unmounting and how we can unmount our components in react native and that we will learn here. Because whenever we are hiding a component, that time we are unmounting a component from UI. Alright, unmounting simply you can say that we are hiding a component or we are detaching a component from UI. Alright, so now let's start with the point. So first of all, we just make a simple component. After that, we will make buttons and states so that we can show, hide and toggle our components. I will show you like how we can show hide with the different different buttons and how we can... Uh, uh, toggle component with the uh, same button right and at last we will cover some important interview questions also so this is our emulator for uh, output and here we will start our code so firstly i am just creating a component and let's say my component name is user and we can just make a simple component with return statement and there we can simply put a view inside view we can put some text let me say that just user component and let's add some basic styles let's say style we'll add two properties first one is uh, let's say font size we can increase bit and second one is color could be let's say 30 right so this is not visible for now because uh, we have to just use this component inside the app component and here this is visible okay so color i i just put there 30 but it should be green or some proper color so now you can see that this is perfectly fine so now i am just creating two buttons right so button one title let me just close it first close the, close the button tag title and one more thing we have to import it also so let me just import button after that we can just put their title could be let's say show user component and we can create one more hide user component right and i will show you that how we can do uh, show and hide on a single button also but let's wait, wait for a moment and let me just create a state also const show set show and by default let's say our component is visible so let me simply just put there use state by default value is true great let me just format this component okay so now let's apply the own press event and own press I am again just calling a uh, arrow function and set show and by default this is true so whenever we will just click over it over there we have to just make it true and whenever if we want to hide the our component then we have to just simply pass their false and now we can simply create a condition there so let's say if show triple equal to true that means our component should visible right else there should not be any data like we can say that this is null and by default this is visible and if i'm just making it by default false then it will not be visible here you can see that and one more thing uh, even you don't need to just uh, i just want to show you that uh, we are just comparing this with show state with the true value even you don't need to write these also if you just remove it 
by default it understand that if uh, value of true value of show state is true then we have to run this statement other, otherwise else all right so we have the true uh, in by default that's why user is visible so if i'm just clicking over hide you can say that the value of show will be false and component will be not displayed on the ui and if i again i click on the show this is visible hide visible hide visible all right and even if you want then you can just do all these two things with the single button so let me just add the title toggle component let me close it and now on press let's uh, simply call this set show and there just put the uh, state with the opposite of its value if this is show then it will be height uh, if this is a true by default and whenever we will update it it will be uh, false because we are just putting updating the its opposite value right so let me just save it and if i just click over that toggle you can see that this is hidden visible hidden visible and whenever we will hide a component from uh, our application that time we are unmounting our component right and let's say you want to perform some action while your your component is hiding or your component is unmounting that time we can again use use effect hook how i'll tell you in the next part because uh, this is the different thing like how we can show and component and that uh, unmounting life cycle method is a different thing that we learn in the next video so that's all for that uh, for this video and guys if you uh, did not uh, subscribe me yet then please subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys